Hello everybody and welcome back to Forever Rugby Beyond Forever Sports. A very, very interesting development, a uh, return of Springbok All Black Tours could be in the works and a whole potential global calendar schedule uh, could be uh, coming in to accommodate this idea which is very exciting. And um, Before we talk about exactly what's been said by the various uh, parties as well as what the plan could be for the um, all traditional Springbok All Blacks Tours to return, please do smash like on the video, please do subscribe to the channel as well. So this week has been interesting, we've actually been in the All Blacks camp and we've been covering the All Blacks um, Preparations for, for the game against Italy last night, which obviously went pretty well given the fact that they absolutely hammered them. Um, but one of the things that they were asked about quite consistently was the level of rugby that they're experiencing in Super Rugby and whether that is starting to affect New Zealand performance. And uh, this apparently is potentially going to be counteracted with the fact that they are looking at bringing in a old sort of touring schedule. And basically, you know, what this could look like is a tour where it could potentially sort of be changing from year to year. One year, the Springboks or South Africa team will tour New Zealand. The other year, uh, New Zealand will tour South Africa. And basically what it will be, it will look like, you know, the Springboks and the All Blacks playing the various Super Rugby or URC teams, uh, which will allow sort of more exposure for the All Blacks um, and Springbok players against sort of New Zealand rugby, more than just, you know, the traditional two times a year. Uh, and also allow that the players in the, in, the, in the franchises, you know, your Super Rugby players, your URC players, to experience New Zealand rugby. So it really is a win-win situation. I think commercially, it'll be very valuable as well. So in terms of what has actually been said, in early September, uh, Mark Alexander told report the following. He said that we are working with New Zealand on something exciting that we will announce in the next few months. If the global season becomes a reality, it will help because we will then see all the national teams playing at the same time. This is in reference to the fact that the Rugby Championship might be moved at the same time as the Six Nations, as uh, the World Rugby sort of seek to try and align a global calendar to allow for player welfare uh, to have sort of more gaps where, where players can rest and can actually have a bit of an off-season, which the Springboks are really struggling with given the fact that a lot of their players are European-based or even URC-based and therefore follow the European calendar before them playing uh, in the Rugby Championship, which is in the traditional off-season. Uh, New Zealand Rugby Chief Mark Robertson has then said that uh, it's confirmed that the two nations are in talks, saying that uh, that's certainly part of the conversation at the moment uh, for it to be more, you know, more traditional type of tour. But again, there's a lot of work to be done. We've been open with all the Sands our parties that there's something that we're having a look at and how we can consider the sort of format for the future. So it's early days, but obviously with the reduction in time we have in playing against South Africa uh, in Super, I think there will be more a real interest in it. Clearly there's interest in it from both parties, but it's very early days around these conversations. Um, so it sounds like both parties want it. I mean, I think commercially it makes sense for, for both parties. I think South Africa will want the, the revenue, New Zealand will want the revenue. I think a big thing for New Zealand is the fact that they really are struggling, you know, from a standards point of view, not being able to play against, um, you know, the URC sides. And, uh, they, well, they, well, the sides are now playing the URC sides during Super Rugby. So, it's a win-win really from a rugby point of view as well as a commercial point of view. And from that perspective, I do think this will happen. But what do you guys think? Would you like to see the return of traditional tours? What sort of format would you like it to see? You know, probably something similar to a bit like the British and Irish Lions format, where there will probably be warm-up games against different sort of franchises before then, you know, like two test matches or three test matches. And uh, if we do start to have more test matches against the All Blacks, does that water it down a little bit? Um, or is it, you know, the greatest rivalry in the world for good reason and it uh, doesn't matter how many times we play, it'll continue to hold the sort of the weight that it does. Let me know down in the comments below, smash like on the video, subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Steve and I'll chat to you guys soon.